mother and fathers who will be gathering together from the year already though already gone began to this day to 2001 to the four all those batches used to be the party bowl they be gathered together for the ongoing formation as they are gathering together the spirit of the lord be upon them the experiences the sharings the celebration of the holy eucharist the spiritual exercises be enabled them and strengthen them to reach the need that is us and march forward into the mission the lord has entrusted to them that we jesus be the source and grace especially to all those fathers who will be giving in processions the spirit of the lord may lead them and guide them and also pray as today we have begun today tomorrow and day after the congress is going on in the regional house the lord give us grace and strength for every member who is taking part in the congress especially for the bala bala prasad representing our community from here the lord be a source of grace and be a source of inspiration for him in all his deliberations in all the discussions the spirit of the lord will lead accompanied by the powerful intercession of mary our mother especially to be the moderators for the issue of yadala and for the swanes reddy and also pray for the bishop is coming from texas to be with us tomorrow and day after and after tomorrow the lord be with him in all his encounters to all the priests of our region with these intentions let's begin this novena prayer <clears throat> very good evening to one and all good evening today i invite you all to reflect along with me about our spiritual mother <coughs> blessed elizabeth sanna and her love and zeal for the souls she was so spiritual and specially well concerned with others very specially for the souls in purgatory she would always say that I want to see hell empty and the heaven full. Such was the love of blessed Elizabeth Sanna towards neighbors. She had assimilated the spirit of the Catholic apostolate thoroughly. She urged everyone to pray always so that all people would understand the true religion and encouraged them to repeat often the prayer of Saint Vincent that the whole world would become united in the one sheep fold under the guidance of the one shepherd and to this end she in intensified her prayers and penances don grappelli who was her spiritual advisor during the last years of her life affirmed her whole life was continual prayer meditation and union with god to whom she addressed and offered spoken prayers good deeds and all her struggles don melia who was her confessor since the day of don vicar's death added she was keen to receive holy communion at the striking of the clock she offered the eternal father the precious blood of jesus christ and like her teacher saint vincent she would offer it at the conclusion of each prayer in order to ensure the effic efficacy of it 
Jesus Christ was a horror great book written with and without and she would derive from it lessons of eternal salvation in this novena we shall ask god to grant his grace so that we do may inculcate the love that of elizabeth sanna for the souls especially in our families and in our neighborhood pray for them so that one day they may be in his heavenly abode with these intentions let us participate in this novena
not from perishable but from imperishable seed to the living and abiding word of god first peter chapter 1 verse 22 <coughs> Now let us pay heed to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter one, verses twelve to fourteen. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet which is near Jerusalem a sabbath day's journey away when they had entered the city they went to the room upstairs where they were staying Peter and John and James and Andrew Philip and Thomas Bartholomew and Matthew James the son of Alphaeus and Simon the jealot and Judas son of James all these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer together with certain women including Mary the mother of Jesus as well as his brothers relationship with love of souls of Elizabeth Sanna and participation of Mary our mother in the upper room in prayer along with the apostles this has a great background of John's gospel chapter 21 verse 3 Now we should understand the 19th chapter of John's Gospel, Death of Jesus, and then we have the Resurrection. These are the scenes that are beautifully seen. John elaborates and portrays before before us each one of us. all seen this happening over there in back in Jerusalem no the disciples opposers of Jesus the full trust confidence without any hesitation the moment Jesus said follow me beat the disciples from Galilee be it the disciples of John the Baptist be it Matthew the tax collector whatever the state of life they were living the moment the word of Jesus come follow me they did not rely upon any other thought rather 
they gave heed to that word broken all the chains of the worldly attachments broken all the egoistic chains and at once followed jesus now why this word that st peter mentions to us what does that he mention in chapter 21 of 21 verse 3 simon peter said to them i am going fishing they said to him we will go with you they went on and got into the boat but that night they caught nothing these are the words that peter and the other disciples just mentioned to each other and left on their journey why till now they had a strong support a strong pillar of the deepening of their faith and st peter in his letter first letter chapter 2 beautifully mentioned to us i have chosen the pillar the rock and laid it as a foundation in my life simple words and no one can take it away from me such was the deep faith <clears throat> and now what happened that physically jesus is not going to be there with them well, because he is dead they are they won't be the moment he was caught by the roman soldiers the jewish elders were against jesus the pharisees the sadducees all these people when they caught hold of jesus to put him to death they sought for safety and at this moment i will draw your attention to some of the words that they mentioned especially the words of st peter really uh, really uh, 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 rings in our heart it should ring in our hearts that is in john's gospel chapter 6 verse 68 mentioned to us saying lord where can we go you have the words of eternal life And when you go to the Gospel of Saint Matthew, chapter chapter sixteen, verse eighteen, there we have Jesus Himself mentioning to him, saying that you are Peter. On this rock I build my church. See the faith and trust upon Peter that Jesus had. Nothing can bind you. Nothing can destroy you. nothing can over overrule you and such is the trust and faith that jesus had he entrusted whole responsibility to saint peter have you experienced that he says lord where can we go for you have the words of eternal life now what is happening now just because one man said I am going fishing. You see, all the disciples follow like sheep, just bending their heads, following. What we call it, "Guddi gurre laga." Or gurre boyindi, anni kabe ansarishtamai. The very nature of that, the very nature of a sheep. When sheep goes, all the others just follow. Paul, he said, "We to come fishing." 
Now, what happened to those words of these disciples? Look into John's Gospel, chapter 13, verse, verse, uh, verse 13, what, oh, Sorry, chapter 13, verse 23. The disciples returning upon, uh, reclining upon the heart of Jesus. You two said more or less because the other first said, Let's go, let's go. Then, what about St. Andrew? St. John's Gospel, chapter 1, beautiful mention to us, verse 41. We <coughs> have found Messiah. Is that work, is that work ending with him? With that? Rather, it not end, it began. It began to show that Messiah to the others. To make it experience the presence of Messiah in the midst. First and foremost, called upon Peter. We have found the Messiah. Come, let's go. Let's accompany it. Then we have Philip, Nathaniel accompanying them. Dear brothers, look into the very people who heard the word of God, who had paid an attention to the word of God, followed. Followed them. Then we have in John, John's Gospel, chapter 20, verses 28, we have. Then we have the proclamation of faith by St. Thomas, who came down to India and proclaimed the faith, began to spread the faith in Jesus in India. What happened to him? My Lord, my God, how can I not believe you? I know you are the Messiah as Andrew said it. I know you are the Son, to the Son of God came to redeem the world. That he just said, I do go. And at this moment, <coughs> the role of Mary, our mother, comes into your brothers. Remember here, the incident that took place. A mother who experienced the betraying quality, what we call nature, of the trusted trusted apostles experience in her life how could they do so Mary a mother must have helped them in various ways whenever Jesus came home they to accompany to cook to prepare meals to, to, to attend to their needs as a mother she attended like when you go for holidays when you visit your friend's house, your brother is something special for your parents. Suppose if uh, uh, Surinder is there and Nani visits him, something special, yes or no? Who is he? Absolutely no relation. Is there any relation? What relation is there? <laughs> huh? Is there any relation to you? No. The only relation that we have is that he is a palatine brother. Not any brother. <laughs> Remember that. He's a Palatine brother. Since he knows him, then he tells everything about, about uh, Surendra and says, Auntie, I was I am with uh, I'm studying with Surendra. Yes, come. That he also becomes a part and parcel of the family. Dear brother, see that 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 great love. And there we see Mary, a mother. Taking the step, gathering the apostles, coming to the center, sitting there in prayer. That calls 
a real love for the souls that are slowly, slowly dwindling away from faith. Dwindling, dwindling away from the mission. Dwindling away from that responsibility that is given to them. Going away. Going away from the mission that Jesus had called them, kept them and sending out on the mission. That, from that, they're slowly going away. <clears throat> At that moment, the role of Mary comes to their friends. And there she remains with them as long as the spirit, spirit did not come. She remained. The moment the spirit came, she all the more took the responsibility of accompaniment. Today, she is accompanying you. I don't know how many of you really feel the accompaniment. But daily I feel your brothers. Daily I feel that. Because today as a priest, as I said, that Nani is the part and parcel of Brother Surendra's family because the Palatin brother, or maybe Satish, maybe half day in their in their family, or I in your families, or you in my family. That is the bond of love. That is the bond of care. That is the bond of support and encouragement to the mission that his son or her son has chosen. His son is on that mission. Oh good, you are also on that mission. You are also on the good one. Yes, come. We also help you to carry on that mission. So see that how Mary, our mother, though, though she did not call directly, when her son called, she keeps them together. Though, though they betray her son Jesus. Experience of painful experience of betrayal by the disciples. Just to because of the love for the souls, Mary accompany your brothers. And today I need to reflect upon when we are reflecting upon the love for souls by Elizabeth Sana. Dear brothers, as just two days back, we reflected upon her role, her role as the lay woman in the role of the mission of Paloti. That is, that she just sitting on the path. Whoever gave alms, she did not keep it for herself. Rather, she gave that to the mission what Paloti began. To the work that Paloti began. To the society that Paloti began, she supported. Who is she to support? What is the relation? The only relation is that he as a priest loved the soul that went away. So I have to take part in those souls that are going away. Dear brothers, remember today. And at this moment, I just like draw, I just like to call your attention to the role of our mothers, the role of our parents, if not only just mother, our parents. Dear brothers, when you and me said yes to the call of God, how painful it must have been for your parents. I know it was very, very painful for my dad to leave me from the family to the society and to the church because he had his own plan. He had his own, what called, castles in the air. But all those castles just pour down, watered down because he planned to make me a IT teacher. Industrial training teacher. And then on fine morning, I come with another application. One is an ITI student, other is like when a priest. Totally different category, both opposite directions. Dear brothers, when I said 
to sign that, he was really shocked. But you know, the last parting words of dad, just before his death, on 5th of April 2019, he remained faithful to God. Dear brothers, why those words? They can give life, they can nurture the life, they can support our life, they can encourage our life, but life living is you and yourself. But remember at that moment, in those moments, that our parents always accompany us. As the moments of difficult hardships, never to forget, our parents are there. Never to forget, to encourage you, to support you, to come out of that troubled water, waters of your life. They are there, like Mary, our mother. At the right moment, she entered. At the right moment, as with Simmons and Paloti, so too, our parents are there to collaborate with your vision and the mission. Well, what I need to is that, Lord, where can I go? You have the words of it. Now here we are. The Lord is right in front of you. You will be only to have that words when you love the souls. First and foremost, if I need to love the soul of the other, I need to love the soul of myself. Once I love the soul of myself, I'm able to to love the other because I know in what stage of my life I am. And that is what we see. St. Vincent Paloti or Blessed Mother, Blessed Elizabeth Sanna, spending time in prayer, as Brother Tambi beautifully mentioned, she spent in prayer and I'm sitting. Yes, dear brothers, this is what I as a person need to learn from our from blessed Elizabeth Sanna that prayer that unites us prayer that keeps us prayer that helps us to love more souls that are just going away and the word last words of Jesus still I have some more sheep who have gone away from my flock I need to bring them back too and there as in the words of Elizabeth Sanna mentioned to us, let the hell be empty, let heaven be full. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs>
Gloria Elysium. It was your presence in hardships of our life, especially of the pandemic season, where the whole region suffered at the loss of Marivar Prasad. Members went through the agony of the pandemic. The members suffered. Yet, Lord, you have not gone away, neither bound us all together to carry on the mission which you have given to our holy founders in this authority, which we, as the sons and daughters of him, have taken and are following. Be with us, Lord. Special Lord, as you're planning for the next three years through this Congress, be with us. Especially with the both moderators, the Johannes, the Kishore Kerala. Be with them in all their discussions and deliberations. They may see the hand of God leading and guiding them for the future of the region and its members in your vineyard. With the prayer of Aloti, the society will be blessed. Let that words ring every member and march forward for the souls that are interested to each person in their own mission. Let a response, Lord, through the intercession of the blessed Elvisa now, hear our prayer. Through the intercession of the blessed Elvisa now, Lord, hear our prayer. Let's be on our knees and descend down the way of prayer. Jesus, our divine Savior, we may know your gracious name, to bestow on us your mercies, for our ways are under our unworthiness before your throne of mercy. Lord, you have bestowed upon blessed Elizabeth Sana, that may be taught to graces and blessings. She is foreshadowed in them throughout our life in companies that are done.
from heaven. wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we beseech you, so to venerate the sacrifices of your body and blood, we always be conscious of the fruit of your redemption. O oh, live and reign forever and ever. Jesus, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints.